Now, we've proved that one particular regular expression didn't do the job. It was too permissive. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a smarter, super tricky regular expression that would capture balanced parentheses. However, it just so happens that there isn't. It turns out that it's impossible to capture balanced parentheses with a regular expression. A formal proof may be presented in the supplemental material, but for now I'm just going to give the intuition. Here's what we want. An open parenthesis followed by a closed parenthesis, each repeated the same number of times. And this intuition, or this notation, is meant to remind you of mathematics. x squared is just x times x, so open parenthesis raised to the power of 2 would just be two open parentheses next to each other in a string. So what we really want is open parenthesis to the power of n, close parenthesis to the power of n, but this has to be the same n in order for the parentheses to be balanced. Unfortunately, all we can write with regular expressions is open parenthesis star, close parenthesis star. And in regular expressions, these two stars need not be the same. In fact, if you think about the finite state machine interpretation of regular expressions, remember when we were simulating finite state machines, the only thing we really had to remember was where we currently were and what the input was. We didn't really remember where we'd come from. And in order to match up the same number of opens and closes, we'd have to remember where we came from. Regular expressions just don't have that kind of memory. So with regular expressions, I can say zero or more open parentheses followed by zero or more closed parentheses, but those two numbers don't have to be the same. So regular expressions can't always remember two different numbers and force them to be equal. And this notion of balanced parentheses is worth paying a lot of attention to because balanced parentheses are everywhere in HTML and JavaScript. These tags for beginning bold and beginning italics, ending italics, and ending bold have to be perfectly nested for valid HTML. It's as if the beginning bold B were some sort of parenthesis and the ending bold were a closed parenthesis. And then the italic tags maybe were angle brackets or some other type of parentheses that really had to match up. These have to be perfectly nested and they have to open and close each other in tandem. Open the bold, open the italics, close the italics, close the bold. You can see the same sort of thing in a Python or JavaScript assignment. These two parentheses match up, so do these two, and they're perfectly nested. Here we see an example of malformed HTML. The tags, the parentheses of HTML, don't match up properly. Let's see what happens when I try to draw that same sort of diagram. Oh, there's no way to connect uh, these two eyes without mm, crossing the lines and crashing over each other. This tells us that the parentheses do not match. We could also look at it like this. If we view it as a mathematical formula, the normal parentheses and the square parentheses don't open and close in the right ordering. In order for something to be valid HTML, tag openings and tag closings must be perfectly nested. This is not valid HTML. And for our web browser to work correctly, we're going to need to tell the difference.